I spent two hours this morning getting caught up in the high tunnel in our neighbor's yard. The audio is pretty rough because while I was working, it was a good driving rain outside, so bear with that. But hopefully there'll be some interesting notes in this first step in the exploration of getting this dialed in to be winter producing high tunnel. Most days lately, we have been focusing on packing orders for shipping, but when it's raining this hard, it is not really reasonable to be outside moving plants around. They can just rest in the rain. And so I'm focusing my energy today on an area that has been somewhat abandoned because of the intensity of the fall time, and that is this high tunnel in our neighbor's yard. And I'm hoping the audio on this is reasonable enough, even with all the rain outside. It looks really rough right now. There's definitely been a couple of good deep freezes that have come into here, which have zapped out the Tulsi and the tomatoes. For our first growing season in here, I've been really pleased with how much we got from this space. Hundreds and hundreds of pounds of tomatoes. They're climbing up through these mesh. We will be harvesting a bunch of ashwagandha. We got lots of Tulsi. There was lemongrass, uh, lots and lots of hot peppers. So pretty exciting first year and then definitely pretty rough right now. So my first pass through here is I want to go through and start cleaning up material that's been uh, killed by the frost and in particular making sure we go through and harvest all this ashwagandha. It's going to be an incredible yield for the winter. While it's actively raining pretty hard out there, I also want to address this main walkway. My goal for this is to transform this into an active compost heating system been putting weeds all summer, prunings from the tomatoes, dead plant material has all gone down into this walkway. I want to harvest it out, figure out with the shovel how to get the water to come from the outside in and all the way down through the middle. So when we get rains like this or melting snows in the winter, the high tunnel can passively water itself from the middle. We also queued up a bunch of random wooden bits. There's some locust firewood laying there. and these boards, which I think can fold into being part of a walkway system that goes over the waterway in the middle, and then building a hot compost system on top of that might be pretty interesting. Probably doesn't make any sense. Let me get started on cleaning up, and it should reveal itself as we go. I'm renovating the main walkway, which I sketched out during some heavy rains in the summer, and I need to dig much further, uh, much more down on the east side to draw this water further out so that it can equalize through this whole space. Now where this water comes in is in the southwest corner. You can see this weedy vegetated lull. And on the outside, you can see the water is coming in. It's on the south side of the high tunnel. All the water is collected in a little trough that uh, was dug. It comes to the west, scoops around, enters in, and then so long as the trench, the walkway is dug out correctly, it should be able to equalize through the entirety of it. So a little bit more digging to do, but kind of nice for a passive watering system for the middle of this space. And with a bit more refining, I feel like it'll be an amazing place for both hot composting to happen, and most importantly, red wigglers and soil life to happen. I dug the east end of the channel out about an inch or two deeper, throwing the soil to the side. And you can really see the water getting drawn down from this wetter west end and aiming down the direction we want. It'd be really nice to see that completely filled with an even amount of water. home stretch of getting the cut over to the east side the way we need to draw that water over. That's about a good 40 foot channel now. And so we can start sketching what it means to put a black locust plank down, a plank set over that channel so it remains open. It can distribute evenly through this whole high tunnel, allow air to move through, and then let us build a compost pile on top. I think that's about as simple of a drain pipe system as I would want. Black locust board, which is very rot resistant, 
hanging out over a channel that I want to remain open underneath and a few random rocks to keep it propped up. You can always adjust this later. Now, that would be an awkward walkway rolling on that ball bearing of rock, but if I start to fill compost into this part and over that board, and I play out this board pattern down the line, I should be able to keep an open waterway and a really, really rich pad of aerated compost above, and so we'd be walking on that nice and smooth and comfortable. Always another good reason to use your hands when you can. I can grab the weeds that have been put off to the side, shake out the nicer composty, compost-ish material, good mulch. This is going to like a little minor walkway. I can sift this onto beds later on and we can lay the coarsest material right on top of these boards. And you can see already it is starting to smooth out. So maybe three or four more boards, whole pile of stones and then sifting and this walkway will have a drainage trench underneath and the start of a really good mesh to hold a composting system. Where that first board is, you can't tell at all anymore. And with all the debris on top, it makes for a really nice, soft, comfortable walkway. This will smooth out over time and pack down. So I need to make sure there's lots of good, dry, sticky, woody stuff to keep it open enough. But I think this pattern should play out the rest of the way. I'll harvest the walkway out, get the boards down on stones, and then backfill with coarse compost. Very rough sketch, but very functional. Definitely looks scrappy, and if it was left as it is, it would be very treacherous to walk on wet logs like this, wet boards. But on the far end, where the sketch has gone further along, it's really moving into the shape that I want. So it's gonna take quite a bit of biomass. I think cleaning up the entirety of this high tunnel will barely make the top layer. That's looking a lot nicer. Trimmed all the Tulsi back, laid that onto the now drainable middle walkway. So we've got so much more material that it can take on. I figure we'll collect some leaf bags and bring wood chips and compost from the chicken yard. The big remaining project for the day is to harvest whatever seeds might be viable from this block of ashwagandha and then get to digging up the roots so we can wash those and dry them over the wood stove. Wonderful medicine and I suspect there'll be a lot in there. But that sets us up in a good way for today. Um, water moving through the whole space every time there's a good strong rain and the beginning of a compost heating system. I'll make an update again once we start uh, figuring out how to fill the rest of this space. There's also a huge number of little uh, annuals outside that would freeze in the winter that we can now move into here now that there's gaps. There's all sorts of lettuces and kales and beets and chards that can come into here. So we need to get this space rehydrated. We'll use the solar panel and a bilge pump to do so and then bring some compost transplant in and get this compost heating walkway developed and the side walls up. So we'll do, or the door uh, finished off so that it can actually be a winter production space. Lots more to come. Hopefully that was of value or interest to you.